Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on my tutorial series. Today we're looking at the Airbus A320 Neo uh, ILS landing. Now I haven't done ILS landing on any of my other videos because it was a little bit broken, but it seems to be a patch and it does seem to be working. So I have spawned us in. We're heading into Dublin Airport. Um, basically, we're not going to use ATC because there's too much talking going on with them. There's no need for it. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, we are going to bring ourselves down to 2,500, nice and early. Uh, the only reason for that, uh, just make sure it's engaged, uh, it has, is because what I'm going to be using for this is Navigraph for the charts. So as you can see here from Navigraph, there's a few things here that we're going to need. Uh, we need to make sure by Lambo that we're at 3,000 feet or less, and we need to be at 2,500 to catch the localizer into Dublin. Okay, so we're going to be coming in from this way into Lambo and down straight in, and there's our go around if need be. Okay, so there's a few things here we need to look at. The main things are you can catch off the front here the ILS 111.35 and the course of 279. So we're going to remember that for a second. The next thing that we're going to look at here is the DH, DH of 50, and you're going to see why we're going to need that now in just two seconds. Okay, so the aircraft is lowering, the speed is around 190. Uh, we're not too far away from when we have to get nice and low. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start reducing our airspeed nice and early and I'm going to bring us down to around 160. Now that we're under the 190, first notch of flaps can be set. Once we hit under 180, we will hit the second set of flaps. There we go. Okay, 29092 is our Q and H for today. Now the only thing that we need to do with this F and C, which really isn't much, you don't need to touch this if you've used your flight plan. Um, but the one thing you want to do is go into the ILS 111.35 in the course of 275. So this is correct. And if we go into our performance page and just go across to our approach, a few things in here that we can input the DNH of 50. We're going to be doing a full config QNH of 29992. Temperature on the ground is 11 degrees. Now you'd get all this from ATC, and I know that the wind is at 244 slash 4. Uh, you'd normally get this from your ATC as you kind of take your approach in. Okay, so we're pretty good here now. We're lowering down nicely. We've got our speed nice and low as we make our approach into Dublin. The main thing that we need to think about here now is turning on this LS. This is the localizer display. As you can see, the magenta has now come up, and these diamonds is what we're going to look for for our landing. Now, the only thing that we're going to touch for that is this approach button. Uh, so we might as well start configuring. Speed brake, we're going to lift this up. Now that is going to set the speed brake to automatic. Um, we still have a couple of notches of flaps to drop. I've just accidentally dropped another load of flaps. Uh, but it's okay, we're at okay speeds uh, for that. Yeah, 160 is okay. And we can stay at 164 until we go around this bend. Once we make the bend, we will bring her back lower. Now I have just spawned this plane in, so do make sure your landing lights are on. It should be on once you hit under 10,000 feet. Uh, I've just spawned the plane in at this approach phase, so they weren't on. And that's kind of it guys, we don't need to touch anything else. Like I said, if you're going through ATC, they would normally bring you down gradually into what you need to do. Uh, okay, so we're at 2,500, lovely. Um, but we don't need to do that because for your first couple of practice runs, I'd, I'd say run without ATC. And like I said, if you have access to things like Navigraph charts, that we're going to come in nice now. Give yourself enough time for this for practice. Don't don't be rushing it because ATC will get you in at perfect, and it gives you not a lot of time. So having ATC turned off to start with is not a bad thing. Now, what I also suggest is is uh, oh hang on, look, our magenta is already coming down here now. So we can now look at that. We can hit. The last config of flaps and bring ourselves down now to our landing speed of 139. And this magenta line, we're just going to keep an eye on this now quickly. Once it hits middle here, we're going to hit our approach phase. We're now making the turn into Dublin. We can see the other magenta one now coming across, this other diamond. So they're going to line up now. It is lining up a hell of a lot better than it was before. Okay, we're going to turn approach on. And that should now start bringing the aircraft down, which it is. Okay, at this point, we can now throw landing gear down. We already have our full flaps configuration. And the only other thing here now we need to do is set 
auto brake to medium. Now we could probably do low because it's a long runway. If it's a short runway, you might want to do max. Um, you can play around with that yourselves. So normally at 1,000 feet, I would take over the aircraft myself, um, but we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, what I suggest, we're going to wait till 500 feet and bring it in nicely. And every time you practice your flying, I'd suggest bring yourself back a couple hundred feet, take over the plane, get used to the controls, get used early to the winds, etc. If you're playing with live weather. Um, and it's a good way to practice. Very good way to practice. Okay, so we don't have too much to do. We're waiting for call outs here. Everything is set. Lights are set. Parking, uh, all the brakes are set. Localizers in. The only thing we're going to get ready now is switch off autopilot. You should have a key set to disengage both. Um, I'm going to just do it by hand so you can see which two buttons I'm disengaging just in case. And here is the runway. Here is us coming into ILS 28 here in Dublin. So this is a very quick and easy tutorial. Uh, and it should get you on the ground with the ILS nicely. Now I hadn't done a tutorial before this because the ILS wasn't working. But in the recent days they seem to have patched something up on the servers. It does seem to be working a hell of a lot better now. So it's about time that we did it. Okay so we're coming in. We're waiting for call outs. thousand check okay so we're one thousand normally i would take over at this point uh, but we're gonna let it go a little bit longer we're gonna wait till 500 like i said if it's your first ils good way to practice now when we do flare this plane automatically rolls to the left so be ready to counter that it's not my bad flying it's not your bad flying it's a little bit of a bug on the planes don't panic but it will happen okay so once it asks us to flare once you flare up the plane rolls to the left Okay, 500, we're going to take control of the throttles, and okay, you can see it's drifting off, off a little bit of course, trying to do small corrections, try not to go too heavy with the control stick. Take it down, reverse for us, auto brake is kicked in. Nicely, once we hit under 60 knots, we'll turn off the auto brake. Auto brake off. We're now just using simple tow brakes. We're gonna come off with the next taxi. So there you go, guys. Don't worry about, you know, there was a bit of a glide there. Do not panic. There's a big runway here. And in we go. We're gonna come off here at this taxi. And there was a very simple ILS. Now it's still bringing you in a little short. Um, that's why going out a thousand feet you have a lot more control. Um, but the ILS is definitely a lot fixed than it was the first time I ever played with it. So parking brake set. What you would do at this point, you'd call your ATC. Now you're going to run your taxi lights here now. Taxi lights will be on. ATC will tell you what gate to go to. And you would taxi off to your gate. So there we go guys, that is a very simple, very quick ILS with the Airbus A320. If you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, I upload that every single day. Not that myself, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.